the pulse of the world, our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., and we're at the Verizon Center as the Detroit Pistons try to stop a three-game road losing streak. They've won two in a row overall as they battle the Washington Wizards. Hi, everybody. I'm Mark Champion along with Greg Kelser. Greg, this is really an important back-to-back -back. tonight with Washington, tomorrow at home with Dallas, especially what's facing the Pistons next week. <laughs> you know, the schedule makers weren't that kind to the Pistons, giving them nine of their first 14 on the road, including four very tough games out west. But they're playing well right now. This is an opportunity tonight to continue to build momentum in advance of that very, very tough road swing. And the area you can point to of playing very well starts with Ben Gordon and Charlie Villanueva. They have been volcanic hot of late. Well, the Pistons looking to snap a road losing streak after winning the season opener down in Memphis. Uh, three consecutive losses on the road and man oh man we got four coming up in our first western swing of the year so this one will be a great one to get. Haywood will jump it up with Ben Wallace. Foster will uh, toss it up and we'll get this thing underway at the Verizon Center here in Washington D.C. Important game slap back Pistons will get it first on the evening. And he's Stuckey with it. Gilbert Arenas guarding him. Now Ben Gordon, Mike Miller on him. Haywood picks him up. Nice pass underneath the Ben Wallace. Passed up a look at the bucket and then a turnover by Jaretko. I think Ben should have shot the basketball, uh, put pressure on that help side defense coming over, but he's unselfish. I'm not so sure that Jonas was really looking for that pass. I think he was setting up the rebound. Well, Gilbert Arenas not shy about shooting as he misses his first attempt. Ben Wallace with a rebound. Uh, Gordon settling things down in the half court. He has been red hot. Rodney Stuckey topside. And nobody hotter than Charlie Villanueva. Little handoff to Jarebko. Down to seven on the shot clock as Rodney Stuckey looked up at it. Stuckey will take the uh, jump shot and knocks it down. A two, I think, Detroit lead. Hey, I like the patience. The contact right there. Then you do, and Max Seals Max still on the floor. Find him to the basket with a shot clock running down, and somehow he got it up over McGee, and it's a 31-18 piston lead, only their second bucket in their last nine tries and second in the last four and a half minutes. And that ends a cold spot for Detroit with uh, two minutes gone here in the second period. Stevenson puts it on the floor. Skips it over to Boykins on the left side. Ball fakes his way open. Look, and Earl Boykins, he can always do that. He can shoot well. It's 31-20. But the fans uh, love seeing Earl Boykins out on the floor. You know, he's a, you know, he's an underdog in a big man's game, so they're going to cheer for him no matter what. And out of bounds play Jason Maxiel off the drive by Will Bynum. So the Wizards get it back. They trail by 11. So you got to remember, everybody in the building can relate to this little guy, you know, playing on the floor amongst much taller players. But it's, uh, it's not a novelty as it may have once been when he first came in the league. He can flat out play. As Boykins again, his second consecutive field goal. And the Wizards are within nine. 33 years old. He played over in Italy last year. We made three and a half million dollars. He gave all that up to come back to the lead. Stuckey to the basket. McGee with a block. A cover to the baseline by Bynum. Kwame rolls one up there and got a whistle. And it's going to be a McGee foul. So our next poll question is brought to you by BP Gasoline with Invigorate. Our question, what is the biggest surprise of Pistons this season so far? Is it the strong defense? Ben Wallace, Jonas Jarebko getting some solid starts, or Mr. Bynamite with his two dunks. Uh, text A, B, C, or D to 37338 and see the voting results at the end of tonight's game. You know, I said B. I said Ben Wallace because I think Ben Wallace is a direct correlation to A, Piston Strong D. Well, you can make that argument, but I, I think you got to, overall, I think I would go with the D. Pistons are fifth best in the league and allowing only 89 points a game. They are number one in defending the three and number three in opponents field goal percentage at under 42 percent. But Mark, where would that D be without Ben Wallace? They, they go hand in hand. Find him on the attack. Pumps uh, Boykins in the air. Nice dish to Ben Wallace and the layup. Is a make and a tie at 96. Terrific play there. How about that? He occupied two defenders, Boykins, and then a one help side big, big man before dropping it off to Ben Wallace. Just good court vision by Will Bynum. Arenas wants it. 
and misses. Charlie Villanueva with a rebound. Rolling down to the two-minute mark in our nation's capital. It's 96-96. Gordon, top side, gets a move on Arenas, kicks it out to Villanueva, weaving his way across the lane. Seven on the shot clock. Gordon again gets on the run and bakes it in off the square, and the Pistons lead it 98-96. to How about that? The Pistons fight back, come back from 10 points down, and drop the Washington Wizards to their sixth consecutive loss. In a terrific game here tonight, a 17 to 8 run over the last five minutes of the basketball game. So the Pistons 106, the Wizards 103. Don't go away. Much more in tonight's game when we join Ryan Field. The Pistons live coming up next, right after these messages.